All right, we are now recording. Um, so again, this is a presentation about WISC caregiver careers uh, for the West Tosha High School um, HOSA um, class. And we have Southern Wisconsin Center and Kenosha Manor both um, representing employers participating in WISC caregiver careers. So um, what we'll be covering today is some basic information about what a CNA's role is. Um, answer questions. We just want everybody to understand what a rewarding and sometimes challenging career can be um, and all the great foundation, foundational healthcare experience that it can provide. Um, then I'll talk a little bit more about with caregiver careers um, and how we um, cooperate with this network of employers to provide the free CNA training. Um, then I'll turn things over um, to uh, Roanne, Nick, and Ryan uh, to hear a little bit more about how they conduct their CNA training and their hiring process, um, and then just answer some questions. Andrew, so. what are you doing? Oh, okay. Is that what you're doing? Oh, oh wow. Impressive. So just a um, quick overview about what CNAs do on a day-to-day -day basis. Their most important role is to provide great patient care. Um, actually, 80 to 90 percent of the hands-on care that occurs in long-term care um, is done by CNAs. So they really are the most important position in the field of long-term care. Um, they are the eyes and ears of the nursing staff. Their, um, their job is to you know, be that connection to the resident um, and help them through their daily day-to-day -day life. Um, so that could be you know, responding to their call lights. That means if somebody needs some sort of assistance, you go and figure out what it is they need and try to do your best to, um, to help them. Um, it's a physical job and so, um, you know, your one of your your roles is to just help people through the daily um, activities of life. Um, you know, bathing, dressing, getting out of the bed, um, using the toilet, walking, standing, and exercising. Um, these these are core duties of the job, um, but they're also the duties that the residents really rely on. And um, having that. Um, continuous presence of somebody that they know taking care of them, it just brings the next level of um, of job satisfaction and um, bonding with your with the people that you serve. Um, so you know helping people get through their day, repositioning people in their beds, helping them make sure that they are eating the right foods and avoiding the wrong foods. Um, Again, being those eyes and ears for the nursing staff with vital signs, blood pressure, pulse, temperature, and respiration. Um, and providing that form of that chain of communication to um, the nursing supervision. So that if something, if somebody's acting not quite right or their uh, vitals are a little bit off, that that information can get relayed and addressed as soon as possible before anything um, escalates. And really just being that, like responding and meeting the residents where they're at and what they need on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, so that's a that's a quick overview. Ryan, Rowan, and Nick, do you want to add anything? No, you pretty much covered um, the responsibilities. So um, I'm just going to reiterate, though. So like, like she said, the CNAs are like the core heart of long-term care. Um, it is very imperative that if you guys are observing any uh, different type of behaviors um, where a resident may be more confused, that we are reporting that to the nursing staff um, because, you know, the nursing staff, they're, they're not as observant or they don't see the, the residents as much as the CNAs. So just want to reiterate on just, you know, just the observing and then just communicating that to the nurses in the event that we would need to do like blood work for a UTI, mm -hmm. urine samples for a UTI or other possible um, situations. So just want to reiterate on that. Great, thank you so much. Um, and one thing that's not on this list is the team environment that CNAs work in. Um, so you're a member of a, a CNA team 
and you have a lot of peers that you work with. You'll also have um, nursing chain of command. So that could be an LPN, a, a, a licensed practical nurse, or an RN or both that you would work with and get exposure to. Um, so that's, and when we get to the networking, this part of this uh, presentation, getting that exposure to those types of professionals is really important in terms of understanding where you want your career to go and your career options. So um, it also is another great career benefit of CNAs. Um, so CNA itself is a wonderful career that has a lot of ways to grow within that role. Um, you could specialize in geriatric care. You can specialize in memory care. You can um, pursue a managerial role, like a team lead role amongst your fellow CNAs. Above or, or you know, outside of the CNA role, um, that CNA experience is a wonderful foundation uh -huh. for any hands-on um, or administrative role in healthcare. Actually, you need to have a CNA certification in order to start a nursing program um, in Wisconsin. And so if that's one of your career goals to, um, you know, complete nursing school um, or become a doctor, um, it's a really great way to start. It's a really great, and, and again, get your feet in the water without a lot of startup costs. Um, like with WIS Caregiver Careers, it costs you nothing to um, get trained and certified. And, and then you actually, we pay you <laughs> to get that uh, training and certification. Um, and so um, again, it's a great stepping zone. It's a great way to start your career and understand that this field is right for you before you spend any college tuition dollars or anything like that um, uh, later on down the road. Um, I, I work with a lot of people in the healthcare field and you won't, you would not be able to guess how many people have told me, well, I did a one year of nursing school and then I didn't want to do that anymore. And so I did this other path, you know? Um, so this is a really great way to understand if it is the right career for you, um, before you invest your time and resources and other career paths. Um, so here's a little video from WIS Caregiver Careers. I think it highlights um, some of the unseen and unheralded um, aspects of being a CNA. Um, also at wiscaregiver.com, we have a whole slew of videos like this from real CNAs, um, you know, sharing what they value in their career. Every person has a different angle that they talk about. Like, for instance, there's one gentleman who talks about how flexible the role is and how he and his wife, they have four kids. They're both CNAs. And between the two of them and the flexibility of their job, they don't have to pay for childcare uh, because they can schedule their, their shifts around each other. So that is definitely one of the um, benefits of the um, profession that again, isn't always talked about um, when you're just reading a um, job description or something like that. I do encourage everybody to check out wiscaregiver.com. Um, there's a lot of background information about the role of CNA. There's those videos. Um, and if you have any family or friends that might not be in this particular area, they might be in a, a different part of the state, um, they can use wiscaregiver.com. We have a, a map of all of our participating employers. And so they can go on there and look to find the closest employer to them um, and connect with them through that website. Um, and everybody on that website um, has expressed um, an interest and a commitment to providing free nurse aid training through their employment opportunities. Um, one thing that's a little different about um, 
here that I just want to get to the actual slide that we talk about this on. One thing that's a little different about WIS caregiver careers versus a lot of the other CNA training um, programs out there is that we are an employment first program. Um, we want to start the process of CNA training with a job opportunity. Um, so the first thing you do, and like with these employers, for instance, um, you start the process applying for um, a position as a CNA trainee, a hospitality aide, a resident care assistant. Um, there's a lot of different names out there for the type of role where you're working one-on-one -on -one with the residents, um, but your, your job duties are not in line with anything that requires a certification. So the types of duties like passing waters, um, helping put the toothpaste on the toothbrush, um, a lot of those um, kind of entry level tasks um, that don't require the certification. Um, it's still really valuable to get that experience though because you're um, getting a taste for what that working environment is like, what the leadership is like, and um, understanding what the, the role itself is like. Um, so, so yeah, so that's what we mean by employment first. All of our um, opportunities through WIS Caregiver Careers start with a job. Um, it, it has an advantage in that you're able to earn while you learn. Um, and not, not only do you have to, you don't have to pay for the class, you start earning a paycheck right away. Um, and then, you know, you, you train and work side by side. Um, so uh, one thing to understand about the process of CNA training, um, there are a number of different um, venues or settings that CNA training occurs in across the state. Um, the technical colleges all offer CNA training. Um, in addition to those public institutions, we have um, private training programs out there. Um, so uh, some off the top of my head that I know of are Quality CNA, um, there's one called like Health Training Institute. Um, and th those are um, programs that are narrowly focused on nurse aid training. They don't provide other degrees. Um, it's not college credit. It's just specifically to train people on the skills required for this role and prep you for the exam. Now the exam, it consists of two different parts. You've got the knowledge portion, um, which is pen and paper, um, written exam. Actually, I don't know if it's actually done on pen and paper anymore. I think it might be through the computer. Um, so it's a, a written exam. And then the, the other half is a skills exam where you demonstrate that you can properly do all of the skills um, that are required of the CNA. And so you have to put, pass both of those um, components of the test. And once you do, then your name gets added to the Wisconsin Nurse Aid Registry. Um, you don't like get like a diploma or anything like that, but that um, record on the Wisconsin Nurse Aid Training um, Registry is your like ticket to entry for any CNA job. So any employer out there, the first thing they do when they're hiring a CNA is look them up on that Wisconsin Nurse Aid Registry. Um, with WIS Caregiver Careers, um, we um, provide the funding such that um, every person who trains under the program will um, get at least $500 in bonuses within the first six months. We leave it up to the employers in terms of how they want to administer that $500 bonus. The program simply reimburses the employer for those expenses. So we just, we want to make it as easy as possible for employers to participate so that we give the public as many options as possible. And so um, if you know, you've got family and friends in other parts of the state and they're looking to connect with our employers, um, one thing I always recommend to people is, you know, ask questions. How do they go about doing their nurse aid training? Um, do they do it in-house? Oh, that was another thing I forgot to mention. In terms of CNA training, you've got your tech colleges, you've got your private programs, and then you also can have an in-house training program. So that means that the facility where you're working can be an approved training provider and they could have a uh, nurse educator on staff where, you know, you don't even have to go anywhere. You just report for work 
and that day is your CNA training. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's a variety of different types of environments that um, this type of training can occur. And one thing to think about when you're deciding on which um, employer is best for you is to understand what they're, how they go about doing their CNA training. So like if you prefer a smaller class size and you want an environment where you can connect with your um, colleagues, like everybody's going through it at the same time, everybody in your class works for the same employer, um, an in-house training program might be the best fit. Um, if you are looking to get some exposure um, to the college environment, um, going with an employer who um, sends their trainees out to um, that tech college uh, might be the best route to go. So again, I just encourage everybody to ask questions. You know, when you're going for a job, remember that um, the hiring process is for the employer to learn about you, but for you to also learn about the employer. And all these little details um, can make differences in um, the experience that you have. Um, anybody want to chime in? I, I, you know, Ryan or Rowan and, okay. Um, so how to become a, a CNA with WIS Caregiver Careers. Um, really, in my experience, networking is the most important career specific skill that anybody can um, develop. Now, networking isn't just attending networking events and rubbing elbows with people at events. It's actually more about connecting with the people that you work with or that are that share your professional interests and learning as much as you can from the people are you around you through relationship building. So that could take the form of um, taking a volunteer role with an employer that you're interested in, um, taking on a entry level role. Um, that isn't quite at the level that you're looking for. Like, for instance, a lot of our employers in WIS Caregiver Careers um, hire their CNA trainees as, um, like I mentioned, these resident assistants. You, Even though you might not be in the role that you want immediately, you still get the opportunity to get your foot in the door, um, meet the staff, and understand what the environment is like. Um, and then also learn from the, the people around you, like if you're, if you're reporting to an LPN, you can ask them about what their career path has been, um, what the difference is between a CNA and an LPN, um, you know, where they see their career going in the future. Um, all of that information is important to kind of take into account as you are doing your own career planning, like what has worked for other people? What do the people that I would love to have that job, how did they get there? Um, it's all really important um, and valuable um, information that you get through networking. Um, so uh, in today is your opportunity to network with our employers who are here um, and they can uh, provide some more information about next steps if you would like to pursue the employment and training opportunities that they have to offer. Um, and then we can also, you know, we're happy to answer questions and um, and you know, turn it over to Mrs. Labs and and whatnot. So I think that that's the end of my presentation. Um, again, I just encourage you to visit us at wiscaregiver.com to learn a little bit more about the career of being a CNA in long-term care in Wisconsin, um, and to hopefully share it with your friends and family who might be interested in starting or advancing their healthcare career as a CNA. So with that, I'm going to turn it over. Who would like to go first, Rowan or um, Ryan? Uh, I can go first. That's fine. Uh, hello, guys. Ryan. I'm from Manor of Kenosha Human Resources. So uh, the process for Manor of Kenosha is you would apply online via Indeed. Uh, we would then meet in person. We would discuss the possible um, possibility of employment. Um, if we are going to proceed with hiring, we would then start with hospitality aid, which is a step below CNA. It's kind of like a resident aid assistant. Um, we would then send you to Gateway Technical College, which then counts as two credits for you for um, if you want to pursue like college at Gateway or any other technical college. Uh, it is a 75 hour course that would need to be completed. I know the course is pretty much full time. So if you guys are still in school or if you guys are going to be interested in the summertime, that would be the, the best possibility to apply because of the fact it is a Monday through Thursday, um, 8 to 4 p.m. class. 
Um, so once you take the class and you get your certification, we would then uh, increase your pay to the CNA pay. Um, and then the, we would also give you a 15 or sorry, $4,000 sign on bonus that's broken down within your first year. Um, and you would just then decide, you know, when you go back in school, if you're, you know, currently like a, a sophomore becoming a, a junior or whatever the case may be, uh, if you need to drop down like part time, if you're doing full time in the summer, uh, that's that's a possibility that we can absolutely discuss. So, um, yeah. First, unmute myself. Um, why don't I pull up the job posting? Would that work, Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Just so that everybody kind of gets a sense of what it looks like and how you go about doing it. Um, so here, here is the posting. And I, again, I put it in the chat and Ms. Labs, I'll make sure to get that to you. So if anybody's interested, um, so where would they, they would apply under. So you're, you're already on it where it says apply now. Oh, right here. Okay. Yep. So they just apply now. Okay, great. Um, so that's, that seems easy enough. Yep. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Does, does anybody have any questions before we, um, <clears throat> hand it over to uh, Southern Wisconsin Center? Any, any questions, anybody? Okay. What is the makeup of the class? Do we, um, is it mostly sophomores, juniors, seniors? So it is a requirement to at least be 16 years um, or older for the class. Uh, so as long as you're 16, um, that's the only requirement that you would need. Right. Um, and Ms. Labs, do you know, like, is it mostly, what's the makeup of your class? Um, all the way from freshman to senior, a lot of, a lot of freshmen, sophomore, um, some juniors, some seniors a sprinkling. So it's kind of across the board. Great. And it's a semester class. We only have a two, three weeks left. Great. Okay. Um, well then I guess I will, uh, hand it over to Rowan. Um, uh, take it away. Yeah, thank you. And I also have Nick Garcia. It looks like he lost connection, but if he hops back on, he'll be able to uh, add some more specifics. But at Southern Wisconsin Center, it's a little bit different. We're, like Kate explained, an in-house training. So with Southern Wisconsin Center, you apply and your first day you're implied, oh, sorry, employed as our CNA position. And you're going through that CNA training class full time for those first few weeks of employment. So instead of working as um, a lower level position, you're just starting off right away in that training class, getting paid for that work um, as you go through that program. Um, so with that, it's about, I believe Nick can give more specifics, but about four to six weeks where you're training you get that experience directly at Southern Wisconsin Center. So you're learning already who those residents are that you'd be working with and getting to know anybody else that started at the same time as you. Um, we provide a $2,000 sign-on bonus split throughout the year. So a little bit different than the $500 that Kate had mentioned, but a thousand up front and a thousand at the end. In order to apply, I don't know, Kate, if you have it open there, we hire every four to six weeks or so, we have a new class start. So we have one right now that's out there for January, but it would be the same as Ryan mentioned for Kenosha Manor because it's full time, uh, it would be the next time that would work for you. So summer or after graduation for students. Um, Nick can talk a little bit more though, if we did have any like part-time opportunities that anyone would be interested in while they're still in school or before graduation to get that experience at the facility. Uh, hi, sorry, I lost connection there for a second, but hopefully everyone can hear me okay. Um, so us at Southern Wisconsin Center, there's plenty of positions that are open um, uh, aside from CNAs, although CNAs, the fastest way to get your foot into the door, fastest way to change your your career after high school. Um, if you're not sure where you wanna go with your career, um, this is the best way to start out because we definitely will give you the training that you need to be successful as a CNA in a Star Trek career in healthcare. Um, I know Rowan spoke about the sign-on bonus, $2,000 sign-on bonus is a really nice 
a way to jumpstart your bank account if you're not sure where you're going to go after um, high school. Um, you get $1,000 right when you sign up and start the program. And then the second thousand after you complete the 12 month probationary period. Um, the one thing that's different about us at SWC is uh, the training program that we provide is technically a job. Once you get hired through the training program, you're technically a state of Wisconsin employee. So you will be eligible for um, paid time off benefits, including health insurance, life insurance, dental, vision, the whole shebang. You can choose it all. You can choose none of it. It's completely optional. Um, there's guaranteed 40 hours a week that you're going to be working. Um, the rate right now is at $18.82. That's just the base rate. Um, but there's also incentives uh, as far as like differentials. If you work nights or you work weekends, there's extra add-ons for that. We have currently a $5 uh, add-on per hour on top of any hours that you work for um, in the CNA role. That's something that's temporary. It's only um, been approved right now through June of 2023. Um, however, that will get reviewed and it could potentially get um, uh, renewed for us again. Um, but there's a lot of different things that uh, come with this CNA position um, that would definitely point you into the right direction if you already know that healthcare is where you want to go, or if you're not sure. It's a nice way, um, as Kate mentioned, to kind of dip your feet into this kind of career path without necessarily paying for classes or uh, spending a lot of time um, with something that you're not quite sure that you want to do. At least if you get enrolled into our CNA program, um, you'll get compensated for the time that you have there and you'll become CNA certified. Um, so that's the nice thing about it. Uh, the one thing that I did want to mention is that um, the CNA program is an entry level position. So there's no experience that is needed. Um, so don't worry about having um, experience as a caregiver or anything like that. We will train you with everything that you need. Um, and it's a nice way to start your career in healthcare. We've seen a lot of our nursing supervisors uh, at our facility started as CNAs. Um, you can kind of climb the ladder or jump the ladder if you like. It, however, you want, how, however dedicated you are to this type of um, career is all up to you. You can um, start as a CNA, move to a CNA advance, start as a resident care supervisor, um, go to LPN if that's something you want to do or registered nurse. We have all of those types of positions that um, we're looking to fill at SWC. And, and honestly, for someone who's just starting out, the CNA is the best, best position, the best program to kind of get into. Um, the training program that we do provide is about a six-week course. Um, it is a full-time training program. So it is Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., um, but like I said, you're being compensated for all of those hours that you're in our training program, as well as receiving um, the benefit opportunities as well. Uh, we do have a retirement system too. So the sooner you get into the state, the better your retirement um, will end up being once you come time to retire. I know that's a long ways away, especially if you're still in high school, but um, it's very beneficial to kind of work towards slowly building that up now so that um, you know, when it comes 20 years from now, you're sitting on a nice bank of cash so that you can um, retire when you're ready. So um, the one thing that I do want to just put out there is that uh, if there's any questions or any kind of um, information that you'd like us to share, um, just maybe shoot down your email. Um, I'd be more than happy to send you some information. Uh, we have flyers with all types of uh, documents, information, and, and links to apply for any of these positions, uh, not just CNA, but any position. We have office positions as well. Um, but getting your foot in the door, I think, is the most important part. Um, and these types of programs, especially the, the caregiver, the WISC caregiver program is, is something um, that you would definitely want to take advantage of because um, right now um, there's a high demand for CNAs. And um, it's the easiest route to get your foot into the door to healthcare and to change your current situation, whether it be um, financially or uh, uh, if you're on the fence on whether or not you want to go to college, um, that may not be an option for you. This is a perfect alternative to that. Or if you decide, you know what, I want to take one year off, kind of uh, get some experience, build my bank account before I decide if I want to go to college. This is the best and easiest way to do it. So um, Again, if you want more information, um, I'd be more than happy to send anything. Uh, if you want to just put your email address, um, I'll, I, I can send off uh, whatever and answer any questions that you may have. 
Um, one other thing that I did want to mention with the CNAs as well is uh, a lot of the CNAs do tell me that it's a very rewarding field. Um, I haven't been a CNA, so I can't speak on it in particular, but um, the video that I shared and hearing the testimonies from the current CNAs that work uh, in, in our facility is really, 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 really rewarding. Um, they get to handle day-to-day -day activities with these CNAs, and we have so many different programs and activities that we actually provide for these CNAs. Uh, for example, we have a garden that we have. So in the summer, um, these CNAs take the residents out to the garden. They plant all kinds of vegetables and plants and flowers and kind of help maintain the garden to help keep, help keep their cognitive abilities up. Um, we have music programs. So we have like music therapists, art therapists, recreational therapists, and the CNAs are directly um, involved in those day-to-day -day activities with, this, with the residents. Um, some of our residents on site are fully functional. Some of them need a lot more assistance and we have everything in between um, on site. We do also hold like active, like uh, events with our residents. Uh, for example, next week we have a holiday event um, that's happening on site. We have, um, we're normally gonna have a DJ that comes. We have a photo booth. We have all kinds of activities. In, involved with this holiday that's that's coming up with Christmas. Um, we made a haunted trail for Halloween. We have a nice little area where uh, we have um, a trail where you can kind of drive a tractor through and we pulled this big old trolley with all the residents. And it, we had all the CNA staff or anyone that wanted to dress up, kind of be involved in the haunted trail, which was kind of cool. Um, every year we have a family picnic. We invite all of the, the family of all the residents that we take care of. Um, we invite them out for a family picnic. This year it was a fiesta theme. We had a mariachi band out there. We had a DJ. We had pinatas. We had all kinds of stuff that we provide for these residents. So it's more than just a job where we are. Um, not only do you get the benefits of, of being a CNA, being certified, getting benefits, being um, certified through Wisconsin with paid time off and all that, but you also get the rewarding aspect of, of helping others that need to be helped. Um, and if you're looking for overtime, we got that too. So um, definitely a lot of opportunities here at SWC, so. Thank you so much, Nick. That really, I feel like that really helped flesh it out of, I feel like that really is the difference of working in long-term care is that you get to know people and you develop relationships with people. It's not that they're just here in the hospital for a day or two and then gone. You know, you, this is their lives and you're a part of their lives for a long time. So I think we did a really great job of kind of explaining that. I would love to show this video. It's, you know, less than two minutes long and then we can open it up for questions. Um, so here we go. Can you hear it? No, you can't hear it. No, do I have to switch something? I'm trying to remember, how do you do this? I think it's on there. So it's on their end? Okay. Any suggestions from the, <laughs> from my, the class? From my, from my wonderful students here, any ideas? It's on their end, but does anybody know what to click? I'm gonna check their video's audio. Is it working? Yeah, the audio is fine. Want to share that we uh, want to support that you're actually sharing the, uh, the PowerPoint, sorry, the Chrome window instead of your entire screen. Did you hear that? Uh, a little bit. What did they say? Share your Chrome window instead of your entire screen, like share the specific document. Oh, yes, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how smart my students are? Yeah, I want to hire them. They are, they are smart. All right, now let me get back into it. Um, while we're trying to get that working, does anybody have a question you can answer? Can you take your hood off? Um, any questions, you guys? I know if Shannon were here, she'd probably have one from from Hosa. That's that's we wanted. We'll send her the recording of this because she wanted to know. I love Shannon. Yeah. Who is Shannon? I love Shannon. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's try. I did the, I shared the actual Chrome window. So let's see if it works this time. Thank you. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? 
No, that's a bummer. You know, well, there's, if, there's, there's, um, there's, um, captions. I mean, <laughs> my wonder, my wonderful seventh hour on a Friday. <laughs> Just maybe read the captions. Okay. Well, the other thing is too, if you send me the link, I can show it another day, you know. Okay, that makes sense. The volume too, but it's nice to have the captions. Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, the, it's a really great video. We watched it before we started today and I was just like, wow, that's so great. I think one of the things that really did stand out is how people stay there for a really long time and, um, you know, build their careers there. So without, you know, further ado, I know we've got like five minutes before the end of the class. And so I wanted to make sure that we answered any questions if anybody had any. Back row, any questions back there? That's my freshman row pretty much, huh? Yeah, and then sophomores, you guys kind of, I don't know, I, I think, you know, I talked about it a little bit after the HOSA leadership conference, you know, so some of it, they, they'd heard a little bit of it before, but this was, this was really wonderful. And a lot of times students don't know what they're doing when they graduate high school. And I, I agree. I think it's a wonderful stepping stone without investing a lot into it. So yeah, I think that's a wonderful, wonderful option. And I, I think, I don't know, what do you, maybe I should share it with our guidance counselors when we have it recorded or something. That would be great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and I should mention that the Southern Wisconsin Center is in Union Grove, which yeah. I think I map quested it or Google Maps it like 18 minutes or something. So it's pretty close. And then Ryan, do you know how far away the- Yeah, the we're is? a little far. We're about 20 to 26 minutes, depending on traffic. Are you are you on the are you on the lake, Kenosha Manor? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, we're a couple blocks away from the lake. Um, we're actually right next to Gateway Technical College, right off of uh, 32nd in Washington. Okay. Yep. Yep. I know where that is. Cool. Yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. I've been to the Southern um, Wisconsin years ago. We picked apples there for some reason. I don't know how that happened, but I remember being there. So yeah, we just uh, we just passed our hundred year anniversary. <laughs> it's it's a beautiful facility. I mean, just the layout, the grounds, the grounds are really pretty. So Union Grove, you guys, it's close by. In Kenosha, a lot of you guys go to Kenosha anyway. Okay, great. Um, any anything, gang? Not today. <laughs> it must have been a, a awesome presentation. No, I think it was very helpful. It was kind of neat, and even if. I know I've had students as freshmen in other classes like, well, I'll never use this. And then all of a sudden they graduate high school and it's an avenue for them to go, you know, right. so. Well, well, keep us in mind, if anybody in the audience wants to connect with a real CNA, um, one of our amazing interns at WIS Caregiver Careers, who is a senior at UW-Madison, okay. um, is a CNA. She's currently working as a CNA and um, plans to become a doctor. And so I would be happy to connect them, you know, with her so that you can, you know, kind of do that informational interviewing networking um, that is so valuable for career planning. So just feel awesome. free to reach out to me. I'm happy to be a resource to anybody who needs it. Thank you so much for that. And thank you for your time, taking time out of your busy day. So appreciate it very much. So thank you. All right. We'll be in touch. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They're good kids. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oops.